materials and the construction. We built this uh, basically more or less by hand, on site here, on scaffolding and a substructure in a tent. Uh, there's about 8,000 meters of uh, these wooden slats that you see. Basically, it's a four layer construction, crosswise, 90 degrees uh, rotated uh, with each layer and uh, glued together. Um, all the slats, basically, if you look under it, you can see them. Uh, the longest ones are 60 meters long. They're CNC fabricated in three meter segments and then joined using finger joints. Uh, we did all this here in the tent uh, and then the construction itself here uh, on site. This is a project that was uh, um, cooperation between two institutes here at the university, our institute and the Institute of System Dynamics. Uh, they're control system specialists because we're now going into an area uh, of, let's say, where architecture and, and, and civil engineering. Um, merge into mechanical engineering because we deal with very complex systems. So this also shows uh, the results of very fruitful interdisciplinary work that we did here. The actuators, uh, we can position the points, the support points with the actuators to a tenth of a millimeter, actually a little bit more precise than that. They're also very fast, so when the structure does start vibrating, this is what our co control system engineers work on. Uh, we can actually dampen, we can counteract the vibrations in the structure. Uh, we start early, when I started shaking the structure, it actually starts vibrating, it stays vibrating for 20 seconds. Uh, we turn on the vibration control, the actuators move so fast, they take out the vibrations of the structure within three or four seconds. Uh, basically, those two things, the redistribution of the stresses and the vibration control, allow us to build a structure that you actually can't build with uh, just a passive means. You could say, yeah, you take out material, but you have a lot of energy that you got to use with your hydraulics. Uh, the problem is with structures, when we design a structure, we design it for a 50-year load. Uh, so for the most portion of their lifespan, the structures are well over-designed. Uh, you actually need all this material only once. Um, when you have a lot of snow and there's a worse kind of storm, but since that happens only so rarely, uh, we still have to design for it. So for 99.9% .9 of the time, the structures are over-designed. And for this 0.1% of the time, these structures are actually uh, designed to what they need to do. So what we're saying is we take out all this material that we don't need most of the time, and we're replacing it with energy that really only induce at the times of maximum loads. So the energy that we provide to the system is temporary, and we take out mass or weight of the structure permanently. Out of uh, plywood. plywood. It was 